what's up YouTube? So for any IS300 owner, we all know about the issue of the electric throttle that the 2JZ GE VVTI comes with. So basically it's a little hesitant every now and then and realistically you can only mechanically use about 50% throttle I believe. And then the rest of it is used by the electronic throttle. So what I decided to get was excessive manufacturings. It's like a little ABS plastic thing and you just put it inside the throttle body to give you full mechanical throttle. I've already opened up the package. Came with this cool little sticker. I'm not sure where I'm gonna put it. Should could put it over there, I don't know. But here's the instructions. And this is a little piece that it comes with. All right, so the base price is $17 and then after shipping it's $27 after tax and all that. Just this little piece right here. So basically what we need to do is take the throttle body off and then basically where the throttle, I guess call it actuator or where the cable goes, whatever, you, you take that off. With the little screws, you take the four screws out and then pop this in here, sit in a certain orientation and then put it back together and just reinstall the throttle body. So the only tools you really need to take the throttle body off would be, you know, like a ratchet, maybe use a power, power drill or whatever, or a screwdriver. And then you need a 10 and a 12 millimeter socket. That's about it. And maybe a, um, some pliers to get the hoses off. And that'd be pretty much it. So let's jump right into it. First you need to disconnect the battery, I just took the positive off. That's all you really need to do. Touch that and excuse this. I did some wrinkle black paint, but it's peeling off now for some reason. So go ahead and disconnect this. Take that hose off, it's pretty much off already. I screw this, pull that off. We got these 12 mils right here. Plug right here, plug right here. And then down here, you got this bracket. I believe this is 12 as well, 12, 212 nuts. Take those off. Get this plug right here, and then this hose. I couldn't get the original hose clamp back on there, so I just left it off. It still holds on there pretty good. Then you got this hose right here. Then you push this over, and then you have to slide. If I can slide it, I need two hands. We slide the cable out of there, which will release it. And then when we get the throttle body out of here, we'll take this actuator right here off and insert the excessive, excessive manufacturing little ABS car delete. All right, throw the blades off. So with this throttle cable bracket, I'm gonna take that off real quick. So I can reach the screws at the bottom down on the corner. I got the actuator off, or at least that's what, what I'm gonna call it for this video. So I have these four little bolts right here. So I tried the screwdriver, that didn't work because it was kind of rounded off. Then I tried the power drill and that was almost about to round it off. So I just got these new nose pliers and kind of reached it in there. It was really hard to do it because there wasn't much room to actually move it or anything like that. But the needle nose actually work to at least get them loosened so I can actually unscrew them with my fingers. But on these bottom ones, there's these tabs around it so that it pretty much keeps keeps you from being able to loosen these nuts or whatever. So all you gotta do is take a flat a flathead screwdriver and just bend these down and then it'll give you access to be able to like twist them off or whatever. All right, so now if I look at the instructions, make sure I put this throttle lock out in there correctly. All right, based on the instructions, it's supposed to go in there like that. That's what's sitting there flat. So it has these two little grooves in here, so it'll go between these right here. And it should, like I said, fit in there flat. If it doesn't fit in there flat, they recommend that you, you know, send it down easily or whatever to make it fit. But that's it. I think that should be all there is to it. Put the thing back on and see how it feels. I should've did a before shot, but with the actuate, with the um, throttle lock in there, this is how far it'll go. 
so you can mechanically do 100% throttle. Now, when the um, without this, without throttle lock, you can only go about probably about a quarter, about that much mechanically, and then the computer would take the rest, the rest of it um, all the way, according to what you're trying to do with the car or how you're driving or whatever. So this should be a lot more responsive than the original thing, and as well, they do recommend if you're getting like, aggressive with the throttle that you turn trash control off because essentially the the computer or the actuator here it will kind of resist against the throttle lockout which i don't know if it could bring it out or, not, or anything like that but it's not like i'm gonna be you know racing this car now as a daily driver so it should be all right and as well with this the installation is so easy that you can just remove it if you need to and revert the throttle bike back to stock and there'll be no penalties for anything like that or no codes or anything like that and there's also no codes for installing this as well i got everything buttoned up so i'm going to start the car and let it run for a little bit let it warm up and then we take it for a drive real quick show that straight Car's a little warm. We we'll just go ahead and drive a little bit, let it warm up a little bit more. Go ahead and switch over to the GoPro. Wow, immediately the throttle feels very direct. It's way different. It's weird. I'm not used to that. Yeah, it's very, very direct. That's just my transmission tripping. Still gotta drive a little bit more for it to settle itself. So. But yeah, it's like it's legit. Full mechanical mechanical throttle. It actually does have a different pedal feel. Usually, um, there'd be like kind of a little hesitation when you step on the gas initially, but right now it's, it's extremely direct. And I can't take the car too far, so I'm just driving around the neighborhood, so. Y pipe where I cut it, my uncle had welded it back together. But the the diameter difference in between the pipes was so big that it cracked. So let's get a little more throttle here. Let's see. The only hesitation there is is from the transmission having a downshift. And that's about it. No hesitation. If you get more throttle, it does it. Oh my god, bro. It's perfect. And plus, Accessor Manufacturing, they're a very reputable brand. And they know what they're doing when they design this stuff for these cars. So 
Next thing on my list is to get their um, Panic Wire ECU for the IS-300. It's about a grand and a half, so it's gonna be a while before I get that, but it's definitely on the list. I can't believe that something that small and that simple could really make such a difference. It's crazy. Let's try wide open throttle real quick. A little short pull. God dang. Oh, snap. Bro, the car feels way faster. Way faster, or at least in terms of acceleration, not in terms of power, but in terms of acceleration is way faster and more responsive. Oh my god. I have never ever felt this car pull hard like that. Alright, so I'm back home after my little test drive. Overall, I feel like this product is extremely good because it's a huge difference in my opinion. Because anybody who has driven an IS300 with the electric throttle or any vehicle with electric throttle. It always has like a hesitation to it because you can only go but so far with you know like it being mechanical or whatever so then the computer has to compensate for as much throttle as you're trying to get so basically i believe what the uh, computer probably does is it kind of like makes the power feel linear like it kind of slowly adds the throttle instead of just giving it all to you right then and then when you press on the gas so therefore you get that hesitation or that slow response or you know slow acceleration when you step on the gas so with that said i do recommend this product it's pretty cheap it's only 27 dollars at the tax or whatever depending on where you live and it didn't take that long to ship plus it's quarantine time when i ordered it so it took it about maybe two weeks probably if it wasn't quarantine or anything like that it'd probably take about a week or even less depending on the day that you order it but it definitely works it definitely makes a huge huge difference in my opinion like i said so like I said earlier, I never ever felt a kick out of this car at all because the power is always so linear. So you don't feel, say like, what's a good example? I guess like a Honda with VTEC. You know how like, how like it kind of, it's kind of like the power's dead up until, you hit, up until you hit about like 3,000 or whatever. And then when you hit about 6,000, that's when the VTEC kicks in. Then you really get that little oomph. All right, so that's going to conclude this video. I did it just because I was curious to see, you know, how it worked. I haven't really seen solid like evidence or any videos at all about this product or anything for the IS300. So I hope you all, you know, enjoyed this video and whatnot. And as well, if you want to try it, try it out. Go down in the comment section, tell me if you like it or not. And I'll see you in the next one.